Hi guys, welcome to Mr. Dear Discovery Channel. Today, the title is Moon Colonization is Extremely Dangerous for Human. Here's why. Now, get start. Commander of the Apollo 17 spaceship, Eugene Andrew Shannon, said that the greatest danger that awaits man on the moon is that scientists can solve many problems associated with psychological and physical adaptation. However, moon dust can become an insurmountable obstacle for moon colonization. The leading spray powers unanimously declare the necessity of landing on the moon and building their base there. Their motivation here is simple. The moon, for example, can become a source of rare earth metals whose mining on earth will decline over time. In addition, the moon is an ideal base for flights into deep space. However, to implement such plans, a large number of problems have to be solved, one of which is moon dust. Lunar regolith contains several types of chemically active elements, including silicon dioxide 50%, calcium oxide and iron oxide 45%, and other oxides 5%. At the same time, silicon dioxide is very toxic and dangerous for humans. It causes a dangerous lung disease, silicosis, which many brick layers are familiar with. Dust nanoparticles will easily penetrate into the lungs and precipitate in them, and low gravity on the moon will only aggravate this process. The surface of the moon is literally covered with particles of abrasive, fine grain invisible to human eye. They resemble fragments of glass and are dangerous not only for human health but also for various equipment. These particles easily penetrate spaces, damage visors, and all kinds of sensors that can no longer be treated. Members of the Apollo have already faced such problems. Future expeditions will suffer more because it is planned that their visits will be longer. Dust particles will damage their skin, leading to irritation. If such dust gets inside the body, it can lead to hay fever, corporic as To work in such conditions, it will be necessary to use pressure protection, both for people and for own equipment. A person's ability to withstand this threat will determine how far he will go in mastering the natural satellite of the Earth.